They are a little cranky because earlier I might have done something. Um, I think we have some video of that. Yes. Let's roll that video. So yes, I did shoot them with Nerf guns and I expect uh, at some point probably get some retaliation from them. But got a great show um, due to some circumstances. We're not coming to you exactly live. Also, as you see, my beautiful co-host Natalie is um, running the camera. You say hi. Hey. So. Natalie had to be behind the camera, but here, um, just to give her some FaceTime, I do have a video uh, of what I took earlier today. So let's go ahead and play that. Here is Natalie eating. I hate you. I love you. All right, so. As our social distancing continues, more and more people have been checking out Alive Youth Ministries online. We've even had some celebrity guests uh, come on. Not guests, but some people watch. So um, they've left some comments. Um, one of those, Christopher Walken from Batman Returns and Catch Me If You Can. Those are two solid movies. He said, wow. And... Al Pacino from the Godfather series said uh, after watching the series he goes ooh -ah! Yep. It's really just so I can really do bad impressions. So ask your parents who Christopher Walken and Al Pacino are kids. Um, also Donald Trump watched and he was like this show is amazing. Cody Kakar Crash is a great speaker. A live youth ministries has the best looking people and the smartest people I should know because I have a big a brain. How was that? That was pretty good. Was that pretty good? Yeah. All right. So next we have our little segment. We have a special dance routine from our very own Tina the Tortoise. All right, Tina the Tortoise, great job. Great job, Tina the Tortoise. All right, now it's time for a new segment I would like to call Tony's Doghouse. These are a couple things in the past week that have mildly irritated me. So, number one, McDonald's. Specifically, McDonald's drive through Specifically, McDonald's drive through attendant, who, despite social distancing, decided to stick his head around the shield, almost into my car, to ask, do you like football? Yes, that really happened. And I do like football, but I also like not getting the coronavirus. So remember, social distancing, and if that McDonald's attendant's watching this, you know who you are, stay behind the glass. All right, next, whatever this tree is, this thing has dropped a good six inches of tiny yellow flowers throughout our entire property. And 
I keep tracking it in the house on my shoes and I end up walking through it. Natalie yells at me because I keep my shoes on and they're all in the living room, our bedroom. They get everywhere. In the bathroom. So, and the bathroom. Yep, sometimes, you know, you gotta go, you gotta go. I don't have time to take my shoes off before I go to the bathroom. So, sorry, I still love you. All right. Oh. Next up on my doghouse is none other than Logan Smith. So, who last week, during our Harry Potter segment, decided to give away a giant spoiler to Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince the sixth book in the beloved franchise. So, specifically, as I said, no spoilers. Um, so, Logan Smith, you're in the doghouse, and yep. So, that's gonna be it. Next up, we have a special guest via Zoom. So, let's go ahead and get that ready, and let's do it. What? Oh! Well, guys, actually, we're out of time. <laughs>